as a coach, especially when you're going through these peaks and valleys of a season, but most importantly, peaks and valleys of building your program or however, whatever terms you want to use, it's hard. I mean, it's really hard. And it starts with the fact that our fan support was tremendous. With everything that was happening on I-85 today, you know, God rest the people that were involved in that, um, with, with how that was going to change travel for so many people, for so many people to use their tickets, for so many people to be here from surrounding areas, the state, Atlanta, not to mention Athens, and certainly, all right, last but not least, those students, good Lord. I mean, they just continue to come and be a part of this. And uh, Dave Neal told me, you know, I was meeting with him before the game, I'm the play-by-play -play man for the, for the network, he said when he got here today, he saw 200 to 300 people in line. He said, I've never seen that in Georgia. I said, you should have seen it for Kentucky. Like, that's, that's what has to happen. I mean, if we're going to build this program the, the way we need to build it, we've got to continue to get that support because, because we were definitely going to be dealing with a confidence crisis, right? And, and our guys worked through this. They really did. They worked through it. We had a great practice yesterday, uh, and they figured out a way today uh, to get better. They figured out a way today that the way to stay on the floor is you're going to hit people when the shot goes up, all right? In the case of Mike Peake, you're going to get on the floor for a loose ball. You're going to defend, uh, and we're going to move the ball. And the key to the game, I think, for us, um, much like – well, the key to the game, we didn't turn the ball over as much in the second half because some of the turnovers in the first half you know, were, were just crucially bad. Um, and we knew they were going to be a hard team to play against with the way they packed the lane, the way they attacked the – off their man to go get a charge. And it, 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 he buzz, does a great job. He does a great job. And we had to work through that. But as I said the other night, when Reed Nico took momentum from us in the Missouri game, Mike Peak at the end of the half gained momentum by getting on the floor for the loose ball, having the presence of mind to call the timeout. Because I was going to call timeout on a miss or a make uh, if they scored, and for Sevier to go down there and get that bucket. That may seem very, very minor, all right? But that's momentum. That's a momentum changing play. And you've got to get more momentum changing plays in the game than the other team does. Just like you've got to get more 50-50 balls than the other team does. And, and um, I don't know how that turned out, but I know we were playing one of the hardest nosed, toughest teams in the league, and our guys responded to it, and it was a great win. And in the case of Anthony, I'm, I'm proud of the way that he played. I'm proud of the 15 boards big time. I'm really proud of the fact that he had 14 deflections with his defensive activity today. We had 47 which is the first time we've been back there in a while, which has got a huge, huge barometer on how we win. So uh, that's my two cents, and I appreciate you waiting. Go ahead. Coach, I was, I was just going to ask you about Edwards, 15 rebounds. We asked yeah. Was this the most complete game you've seen put together since uh, you've had it? Thus far. Thus far. But as I said to him, near the end of the game, it's all got to turn up now that we're in February. Everything's got to turn up. And that's what the team has got to learn, right? I mean, if you're not going to be physical, and if you're not going to hit people when the shot goes up, it's hard to play. It's hard to play anywhere, but it's certainly hard to play in this league. And, and there's got to be a defensive mindset. And as I told the team, competition to get on the court just got raised today. And that means that our practices, we're not taking steps back when it comes to how we're going to practice. So we're not going to, we're going to take steps back with the length of practice, but we're not going to take steps back with how hard we have to compete to get ready for these games. And we do not have a great practice team right now. We just don't. We don't have the maturity level. We don't have the leadership level. And we don't have the, the understanding level of what that is. And we've got to continue to grow that day in and day out. <coughs> well, today was a good example of what happens. When you practice well and you put things forth the right way, you've got a chance to there and compete. Go ahead, Mark. I can hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I got, got it, Coach. Um, I guess with 13 minutes in the second half, a little bit of deja vu as, uh, compared to the Missouri game, up by 20 that, this one you're up by 12. Did y'all talk at all about, uh, hey, this is a similar situation? Or, and what did y'all do, I guess, to kind of keep, keep it going and make it happen this time as opposed to the other night? Right, just kept playing. And uh, uh, that, like I'm aware of that, but that didn't even cross my mind to bring that up. We talk about making winning plays. And then near the end, we talk about finishing the win, right? Finish the win. Right, like mm -hmm. the win is right there for us. We got to finish the win, not finish to win. Finish the win, right? Like that means make sure we're not we're not taking quick shots. Make sure we're not oh, trying to do something that's not there. All right, making sure that we're not giving up easy baskets because we're celebrating. Right, finish the win. But that's really at the end of the game. But no, I didn't think about that. You know, that why would I put negative thoughts in their mind? Right. Mm -hmm. My job is um, there's a lot of cheerleader in it, man. 
I mean, when you got this many young guys, there's a lot of cheerleader in this. You got to keep them upbeat. But again, today they, they did a really good job with that. I mean, it, it, it um, um, I lose patience when I don't see guys have a belief. They had belief today, which was good. Um, uh, Anthony was saying severe uh, is kind of the key to it all. Mm -hmm. Being kind of a, a difference maker when he's healthy, I guess. So, what did you see from him in that role? No question. I thought that was such a momentum changing play, right at the end of the half to get that layup after Mike Peake's loose ball. We call that timeout. We run a set. I mean, he goes to the rim, right? And um, no question. I mean, he was he was rolling, right? He's also had the week off <laughs> because he, he didn't do anything Tuesday, Wednesday, and he just kind of went through things on Thursday. And then yesterday he was live, so we felt really good about that. And uh, I thought he did an excellent job. And it means a lot to him, as you know. That's where he signed. So that's his home. I mean, you can see the football stadium from where they live in College Station. I mean, you see the top of, the, of their stadium. It's crazy. So I'm sure it means a lot to him. Any more questions?